And as we turn our attention back to the wildfires, which have been posing a big threat to a lot of local popular tourist destinations here in North Texas, and with triple digit heat not letting up anytime soon, there's a possibility that fire danger could get even worse. Chris Adegui is live in Palo Pinto County this morning. And Chris, we're talking about hundreds of acres burned there. We've seen vacation homes go up as well. Not a great scene. No, Mark, and we'll get a much better idea of how this fire is progressing once the sun comes up here in an hour or so. We'll get a better idea of how that smoke cloud is looking. It looked huge yesterday from the air. You can take a look at the video. It started around noon yesterday and it lifted up into the sky as this fire spread quickly, given the conditions, how dry it is. Now, fortunately for firefighters, they say the wind helped them out a little bit because it pushed it away from homes, but into an area where it might be a little bit more difficult to fight. That's why they were doing the airdrops with the airplanes and also the helicopters. But some of those resources had to be devoted to other fires, wildfires in the area. So we'll see today how this thing has progressed. At last check, they said that about 500 acres had burned and they had about 10% containment. The number on the damages to buildings, five homes hit by that fire, five outbuildings as well. Now, if you come back out here live, it does look like they have the heavy equipment that they use for fire breaks. That's a way a lot of times you can stop these fires from progressing. And also we are here at the spot where they have closed the road. In fact, the DPS trooper just pulled up to make sure nobody tries to get by. We're about two miles away from where the fire, that big cloud was smoking yesterday. So we're going to develop or continue to follow this situation as it develops. Now, out here in Possum Kingdom in 2011, they had a similar fire. They were comparing yesterday to that fire. It was a very dry year in 2011. Mario and Greg, they seem to think that this year and this fire could be even worse than what they saw back then. Yeah, we sure hope not, uh, Chris. Uh, thanks uh, for that uh, update on what's going on there now. And we've been talking about, obviously a lot about the uh, temperatures and how that compares to 2011. But as Chris just alluded to, yes, the uh, fire situation is very similar to what we saw in 2011 as well. So let's get over to Marielle now to talk more in detail about that. Absolutely. I mean, the 2011 wildfire season was record breaking. Every dot that you see on the map here indicating a fire with a home destroyed. The red dots indicating fires with over 1000 acres burned. And if you have the record set in 2011, six out of the 10 largest wildfires happened that year in the Texas state history. Most homes destroyed by a wildfire as well. If you remember that awful Bastrop County fire, uh, the most acres burned in a season with over 4 million uh, acres burned and 31,453 total wildfires in that season alone. And why it happened was because, like Chris had mentioned, 2011 was one of the hottest and driest on record. In fact, most of the state under some kind of drought during that time frame. And yet that extreme drought was the worst in one year drought history for Texas. Extreme heat was another big one. The summer of 2011, if you remember, was one of the hottest on record with over 70 triple digit heat days. And we're also looking at longer wildfire seasons. That's just the fact. We're looking at drier uh, conditions. Drop conditions are far more common now uh, than they were in the 80s. And we're also looking at a longer period of time with hotter weather. That mix it in with our Texas winds and you get a recipe for high wildfire danger. And that's exactly what we're seeing this time around, Kara. All right, thanks to the inside, Marielle.